Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beard, and today I'm going to be doing a Kirkstall beer. This one is Tiramisu Stout at 5.5%. There it is. Uh, picked this one up from the market bottle shop. I didn't expect to see it because it's Kirkstall, and Kirkstall you can get from like Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Tesco. And for me, they're a brewer that I hit and miss. Sometimes I get some really, really nice stuff. Sometimes I just get stuff and I think, why did you bother making that? But it's been a lot like it's been like that with a lot of brewers lately. I'm not sure why. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm kind of hoping this one will be nice. Tiramisu is quite a nice um, dessert: coffee, alcohol, cream, chocolate. So I'm hoping that'll all be trans translated well into the beer. Anyway, uh, Gulf on the back says this dessert-inspired stout uses North Star coffee and natural flavorings to create the flavors of a classic tiramisu vegan friendly. So that is all the guff. I said that there, but there you go. Anyway, quite like the can art, just a bunch of tiramisu. Looks nice, let's crack it open, see what we got. Look at that. Now that looks like a nice stout. Um, so, there we have it. Jet black beer with a nice, there's two colours ahead there. About that much worth of dark tanned head. And then it gets a nice lighter, creamier colour at the top. Compact bubbles, looks really nice. Let's get a smell, see what we get, shall we? Oh, coffee. Roasted malts. Dark chocolate, a little bit of vanilla. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells dark, a little hint of sweetness. Mouthful for body cup. Carbs light, body's light. It's like drinking, it's consistency of water, it's light. <coughs> Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Hopefully the taste will sort it out. Cheers. Coffee. Roasted malts. That's about it. You get a hint of dark chocolate. Uh, but there's no sort of creamy vanilla lightness to it. Um, it's like drinking an iced coffee, this. Because my fridge is so cold, this is so cold. The body is really light. It's like drinking a nice coffee because the first thing you get is coffee. It's big, it's bold flavours, it's proper fresh ground coffee. Um, with a, a little bit of roasted malt to behind. And that hint of chocolate. There's not an ounce, there's no sweetness to it. There's no vanilla, no cream, no milk chocolate, nothing. Nothing that's had any sweetness. Not even like a sugary... You know, bad sugars or nothing like that. It's dark. It's, actually, it's not even dark, really. If you're a coffee drinker, it's about a medium roast coffee. It's not too dark. It's not too bitter. It is. To me, I have a, a, a rank of coffees. Coffee brewers that I, I like and don't like. Starbucks being the bottom, Nero's top, Costa's somewhere, somewhere in the middle, and then a couple others are just dotted here and there. This is around about... Costa level coffee, iced latte, or iced cappuccino, something iced... Cold brew, that's it. It's like a cold brew, a, a Costa coffee cold brew. It's... A lot of coffee, it's cold, and that's it. Wouldn't really say that's tiramisu worthy. If they'd have called it a cold brew, or just coffee stout, I could be on board with this and say it tastes really well. Because it's tiramisu, I'm expecting layers. I'm expecting so many different flavours. I'm expecting sweetness, I'm expecting creamy, light... Vanilla, you know, all this stuff. 
uh, I'm not getting it. So, yeah, it's the beer itself is good, but because it doesn't taste like what's on the, the tin, it's not really. It's one of them. If you like cold brews, it's probably a good stout for you because it's not thick, it's not creamy. It is like a, it's just water consistency. Uh. Pardon me. Middle of summer, do you know what, to be fair, middle of summer when it's scorching hot, get this in your in your fridge, get it somewhere cold, ice bucket or something, this would be decent in a, in a summer setting, because it's not a thick one, it's not a heavy beer, it's actually quite light, so this would be decent in a in a summer, but nah, not for now. Um, so, that's what I mean, Kirkstall, some are really good, some are shit, it's like, this is just not one of the good ones. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this because I bought it, I spent money on it and because I didn't get it from Morrison's or Asda or Tesco or Sainsbury's or anywhere that does deals on it because they're usually a part of some deal, you know, 4 for 3 or 5 for 4 or some, 2 for 3, 3 for 2, 1 for 5, I don't know, some deal like that. Um, this cost a bit more than usual, I think this cost £4 something, £5, so um, yeah. I'm not happy because it's just not even in a deal. So, Kirkstall's Tiramisu Stout at 5.5%. Out of 10, it's getting a 5. It's okay. But, it's not Tiramisu worthy. It's a cold brew. Gone over that. If you don't know that I went over that, rewind and watch it again. It's a cold brew. So, uh, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't. If you've not had it, I'll leave a link to um, Kirkstall down below. I don't know if they sell this. Um, I got mine from Market Bottle Shop. I didn't really expect it there, which is why I bought it. Because it, it was there and it looks and sounds good. But I was a bit disappointed. Oh. Pardon me. Um, so yeah, link will be for Kirkstall down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so. Because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.